Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Thunder Ducky. Got another video for you. This one I kind of expected. Uh, I ain't going to say that I was, um, you know, anticipating it to any regard. But the moment that I found out that Trump was doing a uh, rally in Coachella or on Coachella. Again, I'm not I'm not 100% what Coachella is, except that it's in California. That there was the potential for a certain somebody to show up. Now, if you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm probably going to use this face as a thumbnail. Um, yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, make sure you're liking, commenting, subscribing, turning on your bell notifications so you know whenever I do a video or a live stream. And um, maybe share this out so potentially a certain rapper of a certain song that hit a certain number one might be able to see this. And I can say hi and that I appreciate all the work that he's doing. Um, if he is watching this, by the way, I have a shit ton of reactions to your stuff. And um, there's a few folks in my subscriber base. I'll have them pop up that has recommended song after song after song of yours for me to check out, which has made me a fan. So I want to make sure that I give them all a shout out. And speaking of shout outs, this rapper, at this point, I'm just going to say his name, Tom McDonald. I, I kind of got the gist from what I heard from people that he was a semi fence sitter. And then, you know, he kind of was like, well, you know, the left and the right, we can get along, we can figure shit out. And then the assassination happened, and then he, of course, I think it was, what, less than 24 hours later, released They Missed, which is one of the biggest videos on my channel whenever I did a reaction to that. And it blew up. It blew up, like, Billboard, number one, all kinds of stuff. I don't I don't have a list as far as what every number one um, it hit. And again, I'm not a music guy necessarily to the extent that I know all the charts or levels or awards or whatever the proper terminology is here. But and it, it blew up big. Um, and so when Trump went to Coachella, I was like, there's a chance. Either Tom's in California or he's somewhere near California. I don't know where he lives. And I really hope nobody really does. Maybe the state. Maybe he said it in like an interview or something like that. People like him need to have their space, need to have their privacy, because you got a lot of we got a lot of weird people in our fan base too that just wants to, you know, <laughs> to everybody. But Tom um, got a shout out, and I have a video for you. Um, it is from Tom's perspective during the Coachella rally, and um, we get a little bit of like the news or whatever, whatever angle that they were using. It's kind of an edited video that's been put together, but I'm gonna go ahead and let Tom understandably get excited over a shout out from the nearly killed next president of the United States. Well, I've been getting absolutely blown up. Tom, Donald Trump just gave you a shout out live on stage at his rally. I know, I was there. And my sister filmed the entire thing. This is what Trump shouting me out looked like from my perspective. Another man, he wrote a song. It went to number one on all the lists. You saw it? We put it, that's right. He said, Tom McDonald, it's Tom McDonald. Tom? Where's Tom? Thank you, Tom. That's a great song, too. I was honored by it. You know, he did the song, and I didn't know Tom as well as others, and now I know him very well, but he did the song and went to number one on every single list. So... That was honestly probably the coolest moment of my career thus far. I'm glad we got it on camera so I could share it with you guys. You couldn't punch this smile off my face. And you're more than welcome to try. Bite, bite, bite. Let's go. Well, I've been getting... Dude, Tom, I would be smiling too. I don't know if I'd be offering people to come punch the smile off my face. But I would be smiling too. As you get a shout out from Trump at a rally. I don't know if it was as big as um, Butler was. But to get a shout out by Trump at a rally is definitely better than getting a shout out at a Kamala rally, am I right? Uh, you know, you know everybody who's there at a Kamala rally to see the music, the entertainment, not Kamala. Nobody went to see Kamala. People went to go see Megan the Stallion and um, was it Pharrell Williams or Usher? I can't I can't remember who the other person was. Um, but basically, Kamala has an entertainer all the time, dude. Tom. 
since he gave you a shout out, <clears throat> is there any way we can get a live performance at the next Trump rally or his inauguration? That would be amazing. And it's got to be They Missed, uh, Heroes. What's another one? Um, they Missed Heroes. Uh, I would love to. <laughs> uh, you got you to do Everybody Needs Me. Um, and then maybe I had a fourth one. Superman. Right? It was called Superman, right? Or was Superman just in the song? I'm pretty sure it was called Superman. It, I've, I've reacted to it to a bunch of your songs, Tom. But I would like to... Whoops. I would really like to see Tom perform at the inauguration of Don, uh, Donald Trump when he becomes president of the United States again. But ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Um, a, a recent fanboy... Fanboying? At a rapper's um, shout-out at a Trump rally because... All in all, ladies and gentlemen, we don't have a whole lot of people coming out in support of Donald Trump simply for the fact that they'll get blacklisted, they won't get work, they won't get any deals like for TV shows, movies, uh, voice acting, um, TV shows or movies. So the fact that there are people out there, um, and of course, Tom has the privilege of being um, independent. I ain't, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna skate past that, uh, which is really good. I would recommend a lot of people go independent, but a lot of people don't have the opportunity or they're too far gone within a management system that they don't have an option to do that or they sign contracts that makes them prisoner for an extended amount of time. But Tom got a shout out by Trump. You know, uh, that's the long and short of it, ladies and gentlemen, and that's pretty fucking cool. So make sure liking, commenting, subscribing. If you are part of the Hangover Gang or the Hangover Family, thank you for popping in. Tom, if you happen to see this dude, keep doing the good work. Nova, keep doing the good work. Nova, I'm going to be honest with you, wasn't a huge fan of your earlier work, but within the last like three, four years, awesome. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. And I will catch you guys later. Don't forget to share this out with friends or family or on your social medias. Check it out.